right, guys, you guessed it. Back at it with the Equinox again. Uh, now we're doing rear wheel bearings in it. And uh, we'll show you some tips and tricks along the way and make your job a lot easier. Step them way. Step one. Take your wheel off. Step two. Take your drum off. Step three, disconnect your ABS sensor, wire. You're gonna take a you're gonna take just the upper hardware off of the drum or off of the shoes. I'm just lay it out, see now it goes back in. You're gonna take your separator bar out. And as for brakes, the rest of it can stay there. Step Let's whatever we're on, take the axle nut off. Actually, you should do that first. In case you can't get it, you need to... So it's going to be a 29 millimeter. Now there's also a washer in there. You can hit, you can hit it with a punch. All I'm doing is push it. The axle gets rusted. The splines get rusted. Uh -huh. So you're going to hit it with a punch. Then you're going to make sure you get the washer out. Uh, you want to hit it because you want to make sure it's loose before you get the whole thing loose. And then you're not able to get your CV axle out. And you can see the axle shaft loose in there. So just so we're not fighting that. All right, so there is four bolts on the back that are 13 millimeter, and then you're gonna need something like a little piece of wire like this to push them out from the front, because there's actually like a shroud around them, so you can't really grip them with your fingers. So get, just get something in from the front, and they'll just pop right out the back for you, all four of them. Uh, that hub's so rusted in there, I ain't moving. All four bolts are out. Uh, usually, maybe if you get lucky, you can tap on it, it'll fall out. And that one's rusted in. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So knock a stud out, get a long bolt and a nut, and we'll show you an easy trick, and this works every time. It's a completely threaded bolt. You probably get away with an all-thread whatever, too. Uh, you can see it doesn't fit. You got to take it. Who cares? This ain't being reused now. Unless you're reusing it, then I would recommend getting a little smaller. Bowl, but I just don't feel like looking for one, so I'm just gonna. Quick enough, I can just start that easily. You don't want it super loose. You just want to get it just so you can make sure it slides nice and easy like that. And I just recommend putting a washer on the back. Put a nut, I'm gonna get it started. It's gonna almost work like a puller. Pretty much I'm just gonna run the bolt all the way till it hits the back of the backing plate. There is a chunk of steel back behind the backing plate, otherwise I'd be distorting that. Yeah guys, make sure what you're going to is solid. Don't yeah. go to a stamped backing plate, you'll push right through. Make sure you're going to I a knuckle. Know there's a big chunk of cast iron in the back here that's gonna give me plenty of strength. If this was just the backing plate, I wouldn't be doing this. Just okay, so I'm pretty comfortable where I wanna be. So I have my two wrenches. Hold that still. Oh, she's coming right out, right. boys. Pretty much, you just want to get them loose. Now, as you can see, it's separated, which is good. A lot easier than the front. I wish we had these bolts for the front ones. We did, sort of. I used other ones that I ran out of threads on. I just worked now back and forth. I'm just breaking away the rust.
kind of loose. I just want to separate my back plate because the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to unhook all my brake lines. I'm just being a little lazy about it. Just trying to take off minimum as possible. There you go, boys. That was in real time. That was in real time. No trickery. That's how easy it can be. Take two bolts, hold it up for the time being, since I know I won't get back to it today. Just to keep the weight off the brake lines. You want to clean all the rust out, make the new one go in a lot easier. All right, guys. So what you want to do is just clean the splines off. Uh, just use a wire brush, and then you want to put some anti-seize on, just so in five, ten years, whatever, you go to take it apart again, it's not such a pain in the ass because the manufacturers don't use anti-seize for whatever reason. I guess they like to make warranty work for their techs a pain in the butt. But uh, just throw some anti-seize around where the hub's going to seat in and then also on the splines and on the threads for where your axle nut's going to go. Then you're going to want to fish the ABS wire up through and you want to slide your hub onto the splines for the axle shaft and have a buddy or a jack or something underneath so it holds the backing plate up because that gets sandwiched in between and then you're just going to want to start your bolts from the back and you can torque them down All right guys, so once you have them tightened down, you just want to reassemble your springs and your spreader bar just the way that you took them out. So hopefully you laid them down on the ground exactly how you took them off. If not, you can always just look at the other side and it'll give you kind of how they go on. You want to throw the drum on. ABS wire up. I'm just pull the grommet right through. It's so flimsy, like the rubber. Alright, that's good. The side is done. Alright guys, so that project is done. Just make sure you connect the ABS wire. You torque down the axle nut to spec. I think I looked it up quick. It's somewhere around 100. Um, and then also make sure you pull the grommet through for the ABS as well. So I hope this helped you. It'll be like 05 to 09 Equinox, Torrent. Uh, most vehicles will be similar. Just make sure you check the torque spec. So. Leave a like down below, comment, let me know if it helped out or if you have any other questions. Also, there's a link in the description for our decals. Uh, Backwoods Customs 15, we make all kinds of automotive decals, Jeep, Dodge, whatever, funny decals. Uh, so hit them up and we have them on sale right now 20% off. Thanks guys, hope this helped.